Hey, Gemini, this is Soul here. And Gemini, this is going to be your December 2018 general love and relationship reading. Uh, the messages will be for uh, Gemini Moon, Gemini Rising, Gemini Sun for singles and couples as well. Showing my face to all my viewers um, for the holiday. Happy uh, holidays. Merry Christmas. Please be uh, safe and enjoy time spent with your family, friends, or if you're spending time alone, uh, just be safe. Okay. All right. Let's get on to your reading, Gemini. We have some good energy here. So let's just see what's going on for some of you. This is a general reading. Keep that in mind, please. Um, these messages aren't going to affect uh, the majority of you, but it may. And if it's helpful, you know, please let me know. Always appreciate the comments. But, you know, the comments that come in and says it's not resonating for me, it's, don't waste your energy. It's not a reading for you then, okay? <laughs> but anyway, um, we open up. Uh, yeah, and, yeah, let me start the shadow card energy first because I always seem to forget that. You have the Seven of Cups, okay? This is the, the card that was at the bottom of the deck after I shuffled uh, and concentrated on your energies and selected the 10 cards that I'm about to uh, talk about. Seven of Cups in the upright, of course, it's a cup, so it's about options. It's also, too, the card of uh, illusion. So don't, you know, when it comes to your relationships, Gemini, don't, um, you know, get involved or allow your energy to get involved in uh, creating some sort of illusion or getting, you know, caught up in some sort of falsity or whatever. All right. Many options, though, uh, for those possible single Geminis who are looking, uh, but making sure that whatever cup that you pick and choose from that uh, when it comes to a relationship that that person is going to, um, you know, that you selected is going to be for your highest good. Okay. Cause you don't, the only warning to this is that, you know, whatever you select from the cups that it is for your highest good. If it isn't, it's something that may come back and bite you in the ass. All right. That's the seven of cups energy, the shadow energy. So it's emotions that come in, into play. I feel though, generally, uh, this could be a time where, um, Gemini, uh, does a lot of, you know, taking a lot of action to um, get their uh, relationships in order because we have your energy here with the queen. Okay, queen of swords is showing up here and this could be male energy. So this is taking action, being very determined. That sword cuts away all of that uncertainty and uh, confusion when it comes to your relationship. There's no cloud hanging over your head no longer because you use that sword to disperse it. All right. So and then the uh, other aspect is the focus. So this is a good card to have because this is a lot of determination, taking action uh, and being focused when it comes to your relationship. So it may be um, there's another there's a queen. This queen could represent a male energy. There's the queen of pentacles. That's right underneath the queen of swords. So I'm going to get to the queen uh, that. Pairing right there indicates a relationship. So it could be an older Gemini with an older uh, earth sign energy, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, male or female. Or, you know, it doesn't really have to be um, older. It could be just a relationship. All right. It could be a relationship that a Gemini is in a relationship right now with an earth sign. So that could be this person here um, could be a. Uh, you know, someone who's into financing or, you know, the banking industry, um, someone who does something very significant in the line of work or career that they have chosen. Uh, and, you know, Gemini knows this person or they're in a relationship or it's a relationship that's about to jumpstart. OK, so the sword that's being used in terms of cutting up any confusion or trying to gain clarity may have been used because the three of cups is in the reverse and it crosses the queen of uh, swords energy. So maybe Gemini was involved with a, you know, a love triangle and you've decided because it's the card, the uh, queen of swords, your energy is about decision making. Maybe you decided that it was time to cut the cords here with this relationship. Okay. That's just an example. That's not something that's written in stone. Okay, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces, male energies come into female and male energies, I'm sorry, come into play with the um, 
Three of Cups in the reverse, but also too, um, the Three of Cups in the reverse simply means that there's something that either um, will make you unhappy because I'm, I'm always talking in present tense and these are future messages, <clears throat> or it's something that you need to take care of because the cups are relationships, all right? But it's the significance of the celebration, happiness, and joy when it's in the upright just to show you in contrast. But there's something that could be uh, impeding this happiness uh, for you. So it may be another person. So whatever that is or whatever that means for you, okay? Or are you just cutting ties with someone um, because it's created some sort of confusion and uncertainty for you? But there's a lot of focus and a lot of determination and taking action. Now, the magician follows the Three of Cups, and this is in the reverse. So the somebody that you may know or been in a relationship with, their mask comes the hell off, all right? That's what this magician means for me. When a, because I see it as an uh, you know an actual person. The magician is a trickster. Uh, it's a manipulator. Uh, sometimes I pick up the energies of uh, sociopathic and narcissistic uh, patterns or behaviors, but their mask falls off. And the magician here is following, uh, is facing the uh, Three of Cups. It's in the reverse, okay? So it may be their energy, that their mask falls off and they've been discovered. And, you know, Gemini, you found them out. Or, you know, you could have been in a relationship. Or it could have been a friendship that may have been leading to a, a relationship. But then the mask falls off before it got anything deeper than that. Okay. Uh, when that mask falls off, it reveals who they truly are. And because they cannot sustain the energy long enough because they're only coming after you um, for something specific. And that could be love. That could be sex. That could be money. But whatever it is that they're coming after you for is not real. All right. Because they don't they they don't feel any compassion. They lack empathy. So just keep that in mind whenever this magician shows up and then you're dealing with this type of energy. All right. And the one link that I'm getting, because it's underneath the uh, magician, is another major arcana, the devil card in the reverse. Okay, so that is actually um, pretty good. Remember the seven of cups energy that I spoke about is don't allow your energies to be caught up in any falsities or illusions. Well, the devil card shows up in the reverse, and that means that you did not allow yourself to get caught up with any types of illusion. See, because the devil comes in to create an illusion for you. Also, some type of addiction. It could be substance abuse, you know, uh, drinking, smoking, gambling, uh, sex, being restricted or bound to a, a person. You know, you could be um, not really in a relationship with someone, but, you know, you have this um, addiction to someone. These are, you know, in the upright positions about having the need to dress um, bad habits, to you know, toxic uh, relationships, situations. When it's in the reverse, that means you've you've addressed it or you're addressing any types of restrictions or, you know, substance abuse. If it was something that was impacting or affecting your relationships, if, you know, if it was you. You know, when it comes to substance abuse and, you know, if you were doing something that you weren't supposed to be doing, but it, it prevented you from, um, you know, having a, you know, somewhat harmonious uh, relationship or just, you know, an exchange, even exchange of energy with another person because, you know, drugs were involved, drinking was involved, smoking was involved, whatever. Now you've addressed that and know that you need to... Um, you know, make some changes here. And this is the focus card of you for the month is the queen of swords is taking action and being very, very determined because you're using the sword to clear up the smoke, any clouds of confusion uh, when it comes to, uh, you know, interpersonal relationships, specifically romantic relationships with others. All right. Following the uh, magician card, you got a lot of damn uh, uh, 
Well, no, you don't have a lot. You have three, four. Okay, uh, the Wheel of Fortune is now here in the reverse. This is a completion of some type of energy. I don't always see it as a misfortune when it shows up in the reverse. It's a cycle change, though, okay? So maybe you avoided some sort of, um, you know, misfortune with the mask falling off of the magician, okay? And whatever attempts, if I'm reading for someone who is dealing with someone like that, um now it's <laughs> it's like their money it's like they were coming after you or they they wanted to be in a relationship or befriend you just for some sort of financial see like i said the magician there's no love there okay because they can't express that okay all they are interested in is what they can get from you they're reckless sometimes dangerous um and you know in terms of their behavior and they don't give a damn how their behaviors affect you okay so it could have been that someone is coming after someone's fortune or money will of fortune in the reverse that's been thwarted um but i feel for the scope of the reading that this either a misfortune has been uh will be avoided and it's also a completion of cycle one cycle ending because this is a number 10 okay so uh, a cycle of energy is about to complete itself for some Gemini's. And it could be that there was uh, when, you know, tie it and base it into your relationship, that if there was some sort of unfortunate or misfortunate things occurring, then the, the wheel turns around because it's a completion. It's completing whatever misfortunate events that may have uh, that you may have suffered when it came to your personal relationships. All right. And then. You know, the card that follows this is the Ace of Cups. This is the renewal. This is the start of something new, a relationship. So you do have the Ace of Cups here. Fresh start, new beginning in love. So that's for the single Geminis. And that could be um, those Geminis who may have had some situations going on. It could be a renewal of energy, a renewal of love. Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces, male or female, represents the Cups energy. And this could be, like I had picked up before, that the Ace of Cups does represent friendship. So it could be that you meet somebody and you can't be lovers until you're friends first. So it could be the slowly uh, development of a friendship that leads into a romantic situation. The Queen of Pentacles follows the uh, Ace of Cups. This is someone that could be um, already currently in relationship with a Gemini, uh, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, male or female. Or it could be someone who comes along and this person presents an older type of feel, but they're very resourceful. They're willing to share their wealth and the resources with you. But in a relationship, the uh, best part about it is that they offer stability and security as well as longevity. OK, so. If that is the case, then it could be um, a new love coming in. Someone could be an entrepreneur. Somebody does something very significant in the line of work that they do or the career that they have chosen. Now we have the King of Cups. Yeah, let me just uh, swing this back because the King of Cups is in the reverse. So you have a lot of people here. The King of Cups is showing up in the reverse and that could be just an emotional uh, water sign, you know, a true water sign that someone is in a relationship with or dealing with. This could also be a female uh, and it may not be, you know, your energy at all. King of Cups is all loving, all emotional, all supportive when he's in the upright position. But he or she could be like the worst person to be around when this, the energy is flipped. Sulking, moody, emotional, mood swings, all of that shit. So it could be energy that is expressed um by some Gemini's in the month when it comes to your relationships because the three of cups is over that king of cups so someone is not a happy camper here that's a strong indication because the three of cups is over an actual court card somebody is not an app a happy camper now the happy camper the not so happy camper may be is I don't feel that it's you Gemini I feel that it's the person that uh, is in association with you now whether or not it's a true you know water sign cancer scorpio pisces male or female like i mentioned before it doesn't really matter somebody is not happy all right <clears throat> so i don't know if this is 
they're not happy because, you know, you're not making them happy or they're just not happy because of their own, um, you know, reasons. Five of Cups is here. Following the Devil card, I already spoke about the Devil card, which, you know, the Devil card represents Capricorn. Uh, Earth sign energies again. Yeah. Capricorn, Virgo, and Taurus, male or female. And then the Five of Cups is in the reverse. Under Yeah, see, the Five of Cups here over top or underneath the uh, Wheel of Fortune, that's where I'm getting a completion of a cycle ending and a new cycle is about to open up. Five of Cups is about a completion. So is the Wheel of Fortune, which is the number 10. And it's getting over an emotional disappointment or a letdown when it came to your uh, relationships. All right. So. Getting over some sort of, you know, possible misfortunate uh, situation that may have been driven by the uh, magician or not. So we'll just have to see. But someone's getting over a disappointment. Uh, just to show you in the upright position, Gemini, Cups is always about emotional loss, suffrage, and disappointment. And it's based on relationships. So getting over that type of energy. The final card is the Hermit card. So for some strange reason, uh, Gemini, we have a lot of Earth energy here. This Hermit represents Virgo and Taurus and Capricorn, uh, male or female. So it's in the reverse. So it's coming out of some sort of introspection uh, when it comes to your relationship. Uh, it mirrors the Queen of Pentacles, so maybe somebody needed some time or will need some time uh, if they should happen to meet someone new. And, you know, you, you need that time to debate or, you know, to think about a potential relationship with this queen. There's two queens here, your energy and the uh, energy of the Queen of Pentacles. And then it mirrors the uh, Hermit card. That's coming out of an introspection, um, but it's also coming out with a clearer, brighter uh, perspective and the outlook on life. And then the Queen is the overall energy, swords, determination, being focused and taking action. Okay, that sword clears up, excuse me, the sword clears up any, um, as I mentioned before, any confusion, any uncertainty that may be uh, centered around your relationships in the month of December. So this is a good reading, I feel. Okay, let's see how things unfold. Always appreciate the comments, but that's what I have for you, Gemini. And for the uh, Gemini singles, I have selected uh, for you from the Rebel deck. It says, don't fucking force it. On the reverse side, it says, uh, allow that shit to come to you. The next message is, you want shit to be different? It says here, change yourself first. All right. So these are messages for anybody who needs to hear it. And I did not cue myself up for this, excuse me, for this Vera Sibilla card that I have selected for you. Uh, but it's the LaDonna di Servizio. It's the eight of diamonds uh, in the upright position. So the first thing that I'm getting is that. Uh, she's holding while I look for the the page of this LaDonna. She's holding a handkerchief. So I don't know if someone is trying to serve up a truce. You know, that's what that handkerchief uh, means to me. Someone could be, you know, trying to serve up a truce uh, when it comes to a relationship. Uh, it's the housemaid, LaDonna de, de Servizio. And... It's a female. Let me see here. Yeah, it's a female, but it's a you know neutral card, positive card. But um, she's holding flowers. Uh, she can come across as you know the housemaid or whatever, but um, generally it's a positive card. Yeah, Eight of Diamonds and Cartomancy. And let me just say it's, yeah, it says here, because I spoke about the handkerchief. It says the meaning derived by the illustration on this card is given by the, the white handkerchief representing a white flag or a peace or truce after a period of quarrels and disagreements. 
The white handkerchief also gives another meaning for the girl um, has used it to wave goodbye uh, to someone. The second and neutral meaning given to this card is that of distance, of things that take place outside the querent's home, hometown, for, or even abroad, as abroad is also connected to the unknown. Okay, I was looking for uh, specifically what it said about love. And like I said before, I didn't, I apologize, I didn't cue this card up or the message, so I'm not going to be sitting up here scrambling through. Oh, well, here we go. In love, and only when the spread is uh, used to investigate a, cu a couple's dynamics, as this card never rep represents a lover. The Eight of Diamonds indicates a harmonious relationship where the partners help one another into uh, receiving an engagement ring. Wow. It says here, historically, this card referred to the dowry. So this is the only single card is not next to any other card. So that's the end of the message for that, because it goes into detail about if it was um, in relationship to another card. And I only selected that card. All right, Gemini, that's your reading for the month of December. I hope all is well. Uh, please be safe. Always emphasizing safety. Enjoy the holidays. Merry Christmas until I talk to you again. Be well. Bye.